Hi friends, day 26 of Rediscovering Jesus. Today it's a focus on the prayer process. We know that prayer is a game changer and can change everything in our life. Prayer has power. And so this daily conversation and intimacy with God is something that we really need to focus on and make a priority in my life. If we truly love our spouse, we would never take a day without speaking to him or her in an intimate way. Same goes for our children. Young people, same should go for our parents, especially when we're living under their household. The opportunity to dialogue with one another is not only an enriching experience for oneself, but it shows respect for the other. And so if we're not spending daily time in conversation with God, then what are we actually telling him? That in our 24 hour period, we can't set aside significant time for him? He sets aside significant time for us. Should we not reciprocate his generosity? Matthew talks about the difference between scheduled and spontaneous prayer. And we're going to talk about spontaneous prayer later this week. But for now, it's this idea of taking time exclusively for prayer. To step away from the world and talk with God. Think about what that means for you. To cautiously, actively step aside from the world and take time to talk with God. What could be more important than doing that? It's easy for us to turn to God in time of need, but what about having an attitude of gratitude, which he speaks about in step one of the prayer process, which we'll talk about in a moment. For many people, they actually don't know how to pray and have never taken the time and opportunity to pray. I know in my Bible study, I have refused to pray and I have forcibly invited the people in God Talk to learn what it means to lead prayer. And many times they have these canned prayers that they found online that somebody else wrote. And in many cases, they're very beautiful in nature. But what really moves my heart is when I see someone pray from their heart to speak to God as they would their best friend. How important is it for you to speak to your loved ones in a very genuine and authentic way? Yes, we have our formula prayers that continue to help us to re in our relationship with God, like the Our Father, the Hail Mary, the Glory Be. We have our own private devotions, which are vital to our spiritual and prayer life. But imagine if somebody only spoke to you with canned responses from Hallmark cards, or perhaps from poetry, or from Shakespeare, or, or something to that nature. Does God not deserve us to spend time where we are truly speaking to him from our heart as we would speak to our best friend? We don't read textbooks when we speak to our loved ones. We don't read novels when we speak to our loved ones. Rather, we tell them what they mean to us. And also when we are in time of need, we don't search Google for ways in which we can ask for things. Do we not actually just ask from our heart Prayer is time to share our hopes and dreams with God, our fears, our concerns, our light, our darkness, our deepest desires. And so Matthew spells out this beautiful prayer process for each of us. And I invite you today to spend the time focusing on each of these seven areas. One, gratitude. Two, awareness. Three, the significant moments of our life. Four, a sense and desire for peace. Five, the gift of freedom and our desire to be free. Six, our relationship with others and a desire to ask God to bless them. And then finally, in step seven, Matthew reminds us to pray the Lord's Prayer. So friends, I invite us into a true prayer process where if we don't know how to pray, that we actively seek ways to learn how to pray, to take the time each day and to talk with a God who loves you beyond your understanding. May the Lord bless us as we focus on the prayer process today.